let's take a look at how to respond to harassment claims. The employer's response to reports of harassment is critical. Employers must respond promptly and in a manner reasonably calculated to stop and correct any harassment. A complaint of harassment is not something to be placed on the back burner. Courts can be tough on employers that do not respond promptly to complaints of harassment. In one case, a woman being harassed by a coworker complained several times to the individual designated to receive complaints, only to have the complaints laughed off and to be told that the coworker is such a ladies' man. The manager who failed to act was terminated after a higher level manager became aware of the situation and steps were taken to end the harassment. However, the four month delay raised a question of material fact whether the defendant's response was sufficiently prompt. This promptness and adequacy of an employer's response are assessed in light of the seriousness of the alleged harassment. In a case involving harassment that resulted in criminal charges against the harasser, the court found the employer's response not to be sufficiently timely when the employer delayed the start of an investigation to later in the same day. Once informed of possible harassment, employers should look into the matter despite any hesitation that the employee has about going forward with a complaint. Although courts sometimes overlook employers' failure to act when employees insist that they will handle matters themselves, the better course of action is to commence an investigation. At that point, the employer has been made aware of possible harassment and has a legal responsibility to protect employees from that harassment. Employers should establish mechanisms for employees to receive information about harassment anonymously before deciding whether to make reports to their employers.